The planned decongestion of Nigerian seaports and the reduction of pressure on highways from cargo haulage may have received a boost, with the flag off of the Nigeria Railway Corporation's Lagos Tucano Container Traffic Service. The service, which was last utilized some 17 years ago, was reopened yesterday to move containers from Apapa in Lagos to the inland container Nigeria Limited depots in Kaduna and Kano states. Four new locomotives and two heavy-duty cranes have also been purchased to improve the existing collection and manage rail accident situations. Railway finally has come back on the tracks and never to go back again by the grace of God. We are not taking away business from anybody. Nigeria is a large country and businesses are keep on cropping up. But what we believe is that the pressure on our roads which is making our road to wear so fast and causing government a lot of fortune, we will reduce drastically by using the rail. And we believe that it is not everything that the rail can carry at a time. So in this area, the trucks and um, owners of trucks will be sitting down together with us to partner in making life easy for the program. I mean, for the entire Nigerians. This has been driven actively uh, to enhance the ongoing port decongestion program of the president. Uh, we have uh, 18 40-foot wagons and two 20-foot wagons containers being moved by these wagons. These are cranes that we've not had for decades. You know, they're going to be used in recovering uh, incidents, accidents. They're going to be used for lifting heavy equipment. I mean, this is really, really going to enhance uh, the efficiency of our operations. What you'll see in the next few weeks and months is a surge, uh, a migration, a surge in the migration of movement of these containers by road to, uh, to rail.